Subscribe now. EU debates. In June, we have signaled, it's not exactly what I said, by the way, neither in my blog nor in my Simtra speech, just in case any of you is interested, and very scrupulous and scrutinizes uh, those documents. But at our Amsterdam June meeting, we signaled our intention to increase by 25 basis points. And that was a signal, some, you know, a degree of forward guidance to that signal, that was coupled with the signal that was given in relation to September. Given the decision that we are taking today, which is to increase, and remember, Amsterdam, for those of you who have forgotten, was we intend to increase by 25 basis points, and at our September meeting, the incremental increase will be uh, possibly larger than 25. And some of you have assumed that it might be 50. But we decided to go for 50 basis points hike in June. And therefore, the combined forward guidance that existed for September is no longer applicable. I think if you go back to the monetary policy statement, you see very clearly that from now on, we will make our monetary policy decisions on a data-dependent basis, will operate month by month and step by step. So what happens in September is going to depend on what data we have for September. But we are definitely on a normalization pace, path rather, in order to reach our medium-term objective of 2%. So, let me repeat again, because you seem to frown. We will determine in September on the basis of the data that we receive, and this is a projection exercise in September, remember? That will include all the National Central Bank in the exercise. So, on the basis of the data that we receive at the time of those projections, we will determine what step we take on the normalization path that we are taking in order to deliver on our medium term 2%. Now, that doesn't mean to say that we are changing the ultimate point of arrival, okay? We are accelerating the exit and we are following the, pace of no the path of normalization that we have flagged. Thank you. <laughs>